Okay, we're inside the control house now for the substation, and we are seeing uh, some of the relays here for the 115 kV power, or 110 kV, depending on how it's labeled, basically the same thing. We've got some meters up here showing line currents and megawatts and megavars, reactor power and heat power. And of course, we've got the protection relays themselves. For example, here is a Schweitzer 321 relay, phase and ground distance relay, and uh, directional overcurrent. Also, we've got the test switches underneath these covers. If we were to take these covers off, you'd see the knife style switches for the CT and PT connections. Down below, we've got the actual trip handle for the breaker, and we've got a, looks like a lockout relay there, and a hold switch. And we've got other relays down here, or test switches, basically, like I said, for all the 115 kV side of the substation. And then on the other side of this, we've got, uh, if I walk around here, you can see the actual wiring. So here's, from my perspective anyway, the interesting side of things. You see all the uh, terminal blocks here, the wires coming into the backs of the relays, uh, communication cables. Um, miscellaneous documentation, got lots of things very carefully labeled, lots of very careful wiring. It looks like a mess, but there is certainly logic to it. And uh, a relay technician may spend a fair amount of their time uh, measuring signals, looking at connections here, and if there's something to be done to the relay, taken out of service or maintained, you may have to be doing things with connections back here.